alcoholic addict. And you don't really pick up or sometimes think that cocaine is as powerful and strong of a drug as it really is. It's almost more acceptable. I mean, it's cocaine is way more acceptable by society standards than heroin or meth or any of these other drugs out there. Uh, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it has so much to do with what, you know, the media portrays it as or what Hollywood portrays it as. But cocaine to me was a devastating drug. And one of the things is, if you are addicted to cocaine, it's not like a heroin addict where you see track marks. It's not like a meth addict where you see all the picking and the scabs, you see the missing teeth. When it comes to cocaine, it's to really knowing that somebody's an addict is actually hard to pick up on. Uh, some of the signs if somebody is really a cocaine addict, one, they're gonna be spending a lot of money. They're probably always gonna be kind of broke or they're gonna be always looking for money. Mm. They're going to be looking for quick money, too, because you want to get that high back. Mm. If you see a massive boost in their confidence, that's another sign that somebody can be a coke addict. And now, don't get me wrong, it's not to diagnose anybody or be like, hey, look at them. But when it's a combination of a lot of these, it really means that this person has done something that's altering their life right now. And cocaine gives you this huge ego boost. It gives you this almost like the superpower feeling inside that you're unstoppable, that you're cool. It really is weird what it does to your head. If you see somebody who loses a lot of weight, uh, that's another sign that they can be a coke addict. I mean, if somebody has this huge ego and they're losing a lot of weight and their nose is running constantly, you notice that they're constantly playing with their nose, they constantly are congested, they're constantly telling you that it's just sinuses, stuff like that. Those are usually the subtle signs that somebody's a coke addict. The hard thing when it comes to cocaine addiction is there's nothing big that stands out that says, hey, this person's addicted to cocaine. Uh, if somebody constantly talks about cocaine, though, that, again, is a sign that they might be a, a user of it. They might be addicted to it. Uh, if you notice their mood fluctuations, if, if they're constantly bringing up, hey, let's go get some cocaine, when it comes to partying, it's always about cocaine. You'll notice that all of a sudden cocaine becomes something that's kind of on the forefront of their brain. Uh, they make a lot more jokes about it. It's easier in conversation. They bring it up a lot. And you notice it, and it's very subtle. But if you pay attention, you notice that their whole shift and their whole demeanor around cocaine is more excitement of, hey, oh, you can get some? Let's go get it. Cocaine is something that just, it draws you in and it sucks out your soul is the sad part about it. And it is one of those drugs that it's such a temporary feeling that you constantly keep craving more and more of it. Again, there are no warning signs that somebody's addicted to cocaine. If you have a feeling that somebody's addicted to cocaine, talk to them about it. You know, bring it up to them. Just be like, hey man, what took over the bar when the bar when cocaine was huge so it was electric and he had a back room and on Saturday nights if you knew of certain people at any time of night you'd go around the back and knock on the door and somebody would answer and they'd be in there fucking getting down and the dude who took me in after John Bender was a guy by the name of Mike Runny and he used to smoke Marlboro Lights but him and his three brothers the whole family has a thing and when they do a line of coke, you've never seen anything like that. Their jaw goes. That's cut with speed shit. No, 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 no. This was when cocaine was cocaine. Anything they did, their jaw just <laughs> broke. You've never, guys, you, guys, you've never ever seen this. <laughs> the whole family. The whole five of them. When I was in. You're going to see his family photo. <laughs>